I'm Eric Novak, and this here is the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica e-hybrid. It's a plug-in hybrid minivan, and it's the only plug-in hybrid minivan available in North America right now. This is a, a different kind of review because it's a little bit more of a, of a demonstration type of review because right now I'm at a provincial park in eastern Ontario. I'm at Fitzroy Provincial Park, uh, which is just about 45 minutes outside of Ottawa, Canada's nation's capital. For, uh, for this video, what I decided to do is to demonstrate how minivans in general, as we all know, are ultimate family practical vehicles. And just because this has a battery, it's a plug-in hybrid, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's any sacrifices involved. In fact, uh, this whole trip, we're, we're here at a campsite, but really it's about a multi-destination trip because uh, my family, I'm, I'm with my kids, we're gonna do some day tripping into Ottawa, and even later in our trip, we're gonna see some parts of Quebec, uh, Mont Tremblant, uh, Montreal, and have an, an overall great time. Now, uh, that's going to be this review. I've already done a, uh, a first drive review of the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. I did so on the media launch drive in California before it came out. And if you want to watch that, I'm going to put the link up here and also at the end of the video. I've also demonstrated the non-hybrid Pacifica. In fact, I took it camping a couple of years ago. And I'm, uh, if you want to see that video, how the non-hybrid works out, you can also see the link or watch it at the end of the video. But let's take a look at this uh, Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid and let's see how a, uh, a battery operated plug-in hybrid is not only uh, very fuel efficient but it's great for family vacations. So there's a frog on the log in the middle of the bog. A small green frog in the middle of the bog on a half sunk log. So when you're camping, I mean, you can do all kinds of creative ideas for food. And I mean, we were thinking for lunch, grilled cheese, but you know, sometimes it's camping. You gotta have a lot of fun. So instead of grilled cheese, you grill up the outsides of the bread, take some peanut butter, Take a little uh, decadent chocolate chips, and what you get are grilled peanut butter chocolate chunk sandwiches. And this is the end result. Oh my god. Like, come on, this is camping, this is what you do. So last dinner here in the campsite and tonight we're doing campfire burgers. Look at these things. These are going to look delicious. We got to get the campfire going. We'll get a little hot dogs and maybe a little s'mores later on tonight. Let's have a delicious last meal. Let's go. So we spent three nights here at Fitzroy Provincial Park and it's time to pack up. We've still got some more things to see in our journey, but it's time to get all the stuff, and this is, I guess, one of the drawbacks of camping, into uh, our vehicle. And with the Pacifica, there is a lot of room. I should say off the top, there's a couple of drawbacks with the hybrid version of the Pacifica that would sometimes help in a case like this. Number one, uh, with the placement of the battery being underneath the second row seats, the second row stow and go uh, feature that you'd see on the regular Pacifica you saw with the, the Grand Caravan and such, you can't do that because that's where the battery is. They don't fold flat. You wouldn't really need it necessarily for camping, but it's extra uh, to put the seats down, but it is extra storage space. And I've used it in the past, like when I did the regular Pacifica review. The other drawback with the Pacifica Hybrid is uh, it, it's not tow rated. I mean, if you wanted to uh, say being a bike trailer or if you had something else to tow along with, um, this vehicle is optimized for fuel efficiency and to, um, to, to alter that for towing capabilities, you're gonna uh, change 
change the uh, drive shaft, the transmission, and uh, Chrysler even says there's only about a three to five percent uptake on requests for tow packages on the Pacifica anyway. So uh, in that case, they just opted to not have it rated. So we got to put stuff on the roof or inside, um, but we're going to get all this in because we've still got some uh, stuff to see at Mont Tremblant and Montreal. So <sighs> come on, guys, let's get packing. And it's all packed up. It's like putting uh, all your life in there, but we are packed up. We are ready to go and on to our next journey of the uh, trip. Let's go see Mont Tremblant and Montreal. So we're uh, We've uh, driven uh, a bit longer from uh, the provincial park to uh, to get to here. It's because there was uh, a lot of construction in uh, Ottawa on the 417. But uh, we are now here approaching the uh, village uh, du Mont Tremblant. Uh, and uh, kids, you guys are seeing this for the first time. First time really in Quebec, but uh, uh, it's great. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day. And uh, just as an update on the on the Pacifica Hybrid. Um, We've driven about 880 kilometers so far in our entire journey, and uh, right now about 308 kilometers has been EV only, so a combination of hybrid and plug-in. Uh, so it's been quite efficient. I'm averaging right now uh, 7.5 liters per hundred for the entire journey, um, so that's quite impressive. But um, we're going to spend a bit of time and uh, show everyone what it's like in beautiful Mont Saint Blanc. We've been from Mont Tremblant and now uh, we're just getting off. Yes, lovely scenic. You don't want to show that part of Montreal. But we're just getting downtown Montreal. The kids uh, have never been here before. So, uh, I mean, it's late in the day, but uh, we've got uh, we've got our final destination. Destination is Belleville, Ontario. But uh, comfort so far. Guys, you enjoying the ride and the, the Pacifica Hybrid? I mean, what's it been like? Is it yeah. comfortable? Yeah. What do you say? Turn it back? You know, all right? I know it's crowded in here. Good. But, uh, I mean, it's a family cruiser. This is what this type of vehicle does. It goes for long road trips. Uh, we've done 1,027 kilometers so far. Uh, 350 of them, basically, on battery. Uh, and we're at 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers. So, uh, we're going to spend some time seeing a little bit of the sights here. Uh, we're going to see the... Well, we're going to boo at the Bell Center to where the Montreal Canadiens play. Because we're Leaf fans, and that's what happens. Uh, but uh, let's go see uh, Ville de Montreal. That would be uh, Montreal's Olympic Stadium, a, uh, where the Expos used to play, um, where sometimes uh, the Alouettes play, where the 76 Olympics were held, and apparently according to Montrealers where a lot of money has been spent. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so we've been stuck here now. We've made our way almost to our destination and our friend's place in Belleville, and suddenly, unfortunately, a major accident a little bit ahead of us. Um, we've seen four fire trucks, three cruisers, police cruisers, paramedics. We're um, hoping everyone's okay, but it's um, keeping us. Uh, Almost there. Well, 
that's a big cleanup still to come. So just before I return uh, the specific hybrid, I'm going to do a quick little top up uh, of the battery here uh, using the free charging station at uh, Viridian Connections in Ajax, Ontario and something I'm always grateful to use when I can. But as an overall impression of the Pacific Hybrid as a vehicle for the camping trip, I thought it really did a great job. I've always said that in terms of family outings and versatility, there's no vehicle classification better suited for that type of a trip than our minivans. And uh, with Chrysler having invented the minivan with this new Pacifica, they really have uh, understood and built a lot into this vehicle that uh, really work well for outings such as what we did. Uh, some of the sacrifices that you may have by using the hybrid version versus the non-hybrid, the lack of towing capability uh, may impact some if you have a trailer. The, the lack of additional storage space with that second row cub uh, stow and go uh, being removed in favor of the battery, all that might impact in some degree. Uh, but overall, the added fuel savings uh, of this uh, journey by being able to use a hybrid as well as uh, EV only driving for periods of time, I really enjoyed the opportunity to use this. But that's it for this sort of a travel and uh, EV kind of review. Uh, for now, I'm Eric Nolback. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. There's plenty of ways for you to keep connected with me. So check out some of my social media links, suggested videos, and you know, I'd really love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel.